Robert Foster, Missionary to Africa, Week 2 Do you remember who we were talking about in our missionary story? Yes, his name was Bob. After living at Gowan's home for nine years, Harold and Bob were expecting special visitors. On the count of three, shout out who you think was coming to visit them. One, two, three. There they are! It's Mom and Dad! Can you imagine how excited 13-year-old Bob was to see his parents after nine years? Charles and June Foster had come home from Africa for a one-year stay. When the year was over, his mom and dad returned to Africa again. This was the same time World War II began in Europe and Asia. Many men were away from their homes serving as soldiers, including many of the men around the school in Canada where Bob lived. There weren't enough men to keep up on all the repairs needed at the school. Soon, a neighbor named Otto, who hadn't gone to war, taught Bob how to fix things around Gowan's home. Bob kept the furnaces going through the long, cold winter, and often helped Otto do jobs at other places, too. After Bob graduated from high school, he worked in a shipyard operating big machinery. The third night on his job, he caught his fingers in a machine and crushed them. It looked like they would have to be cut off. As nurses prepared him for the operation to remove his fingers, Bob thought, How can I become a missionary doctor now? But God did something amazing. The doctor was able to repair the damaged fingers instead of cutting them off. God can make my fingers strong again, Bob told his friend. I will still be a missionary doctor one day. Bob knew if God wanted him to be a missionary doctor, he would be able to be one. Bob faced another challenge when it came time to begin college. He found a place to live and a job to pay for his food, but he didn't know how he was going to pay for his books and other fees. College is expensive. But he believed God wanted him to learn to be a doctor, and he trusted God would provide. He went to register for classes even though he didn't have any money to pay for them. When it was his turn, the registrar told him that his bill had been paid. Bob had won a scholarship because of his high school final exams. All of his fees for the whole year were paid off. Bob was learning he could trust God to take care of him. He studied hard to be ready for the next step in God's plan. One day, at a missionary conference, Bob listened to Mr. Shank, a missionary to Africa. Mr. Shank didn't know Bob was in the audience, but he spoke about the very place Bob's parents were serving God. Mr. Shank reported, The Africans in Mukinge, Zambia, have told me they've been praying for a doctor for 27 years. They said, The mission has never sent us a doctor. We just get sick, die, and nobody cares. If you really want to help us, send us a doctor. Mr. Shank asked, Is there someone here who will go? Would Bob be willing to go to Africa? Come back next week to find out.